Hello guys and welcome to a meh review. Visa, Visa movies I thought were, were okay while the general talk about them is that they are pretty well hated. But I'm here to give my opinion as to why I think this movie is okay and was worth a watch. And today I'm talking about Gods of Egypt. Straight off the bat, I'm just going to say it, this movie gets a lot of hate for whitewashing. And I'm going to say something right here, okay? I'm going to address this. This is a fantasy movie, people. Fantasy. This is not historically accurate. Yes, it's based in Egypt, but it's fantasy. Okay? It also has 10 foot tall gods that turn into metal anthro animals. Because that is so how Egypt worked back in the day. That's how the gods were. So not having Egyptian actors is so racist. It's really not, guys. It's really not. It's fantasy. Okay? Fantasy. There is, that does make a whole lot of difference, okay? Now, am I being extremely racist here by saying that? No. No. <laughs> this is pretty much exactly what the, um, act, the actor for Horus said. It's basically, I don't understand it. I'm a 10 foot tall god. That doesn't really make much sense. Because it's fair to see people, okay? If you're getting hate on this film just because of that and you're not getting bothered watching it because of that, you need help, okay? Give it a try. That's what it's always all about, is giving it a try anyway. So let's start this review, shall we? Well, the story is about, well, 10 foot tall gods that turn into metal and for animals. <laughs> the, story is the story is actually an old tale which I have heard a lot when I was young. It's one of my favourite stories. With Osiris being killed by Set and his... And you hear about like his body parts being spread around and all that. Which is a very old tale and I actually... And I, I loved actually hearing it. Hearing it again. So that's cool. Slight little spoiler, so skip ahead just like a minute or so. Basically, one of Set's plans as well is to like take other sort of parts from different gods, like taking the brain of Foth and putting it into like his metal version of himself. It, yeah, it doesn't really make exactly a whole lot of sense, but I still found it really interesting. It was still interesting and cool to watch. Him go after like all these different gods and such. The cast was good, though mostly because I thought the human character Beck was a bit of a cutie, so I kinda have a cross on this actor now. <laughs> he was even in a Pirate, new Pirates of Caribbean movie, and he's cute in that as well, and yeah, yeah, that that didn't really help. <laughs> but but yeah, the, the other actors all did fine. They did they did fine with what were, they were given and what it was. Uh, but another thing that gets talked about a lot is the effects. Yeah, they can be really, really bad. But at the same time, really good. It, it's odd, like, most, most of the green screen effects when they're wanting and such, generally looks really, really bad. There's some really bad green screen effects here. And, but, but, a big but, like my ass kind of big. When the gods transform into like the metal forms and all that, that looks really bloody cool. Okay, like their metal forms and everything looks really cool. And then you see like you see Anubis a pop up and like he sort of like he pops around and all that now and then. He looks really cool. The underworld looks really really cool. They do some really cool ideas here. And the, the snake things look really cool. There's some really cool effects here. And then there's some really bad ones. But don't go saying the whole film looks like crap. Because it doesn't. There's some really cool stuff here. But you know what? I can, I can give it a pass. Because it's a fantasy film. And this happens a lot in fantasy films where effects won't be that great sometimes. And then other times they'll look really good. It happens a lot in fantasy films, so that's just how I see it. It's a fantasy film. There's going to be some bad effects, and there's going to be some good ones. So, it gets a pass to me. But yeah, sometimes I'm just like, eh, what's happening here? No, that's not right. No. Other times I'm just like, you know, enjoying it. 
Yes, uh, like the bad stuff does distract from the action a little, but it's a it's a fun fantasy film, is what it is. And I loved a lot of the ideas and the cre creativity that went behind it. I loved the idea of War and like what he was doing and all that. But then they also stuffed him up by never showing his god form at all. That was a huge letdown. I would love to have seen War in his like metal god kind of form. But you never do and that was a huge letdown. Because I really enjoyed what he did and all that. But you know what? If you came to see this movie, that. Nah. But you know what? If you came, that. Nah. But you know what? If you wanted to see this movie to see giant gods duking it out in big metal anfo kind of forms, you won't be disappointed at all. I know I wasn't. So there are disappointments in this movie, but again, if you came to see gods duking it out, you'll be happy. I know I did. I got exactly what I wanted out of this film and more. You know, I've got Egyptian gods, nice little sort of fantasy story, good old Egyptian stories, uh, cool action, Anubis, who I love and I was so happy to see in the film. It was a good, fun enough film. And admittedly, this probably does count, come down to my love for ancient Egypt and ancient mythology and all that, but again, it's a fantasy film and it's very enjoyable. I can understand why it's got some hate, but the other half, I don't understand. Because as far as fantasy films go, it's good. It's a good fantasy film. Like, there are so much worse ones out there. Again, not everything is good, but I enjoyed it enough. I don't think it deserves a hate it's gotten, really. Look past the fact they are played by Egyptian actors, and watch the movie. You may hate it, and that's perfectly okay. But you also may enjoy it. I managed to. Maybe because I'm a furry, so I enjoyed the big anfo-like gods duking it out and all, but... All in honesty, it's not a bad movie. Just check it out and see what you think. And let me know what you think as well in the comments below. But that's it for this video, guys. So give this video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see all the latest stuff as soon as it's uploaded. Alright, guys. Bye for now. Ow, ow.